it's Zoe from Extravagant Loomers, and today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on the taffy twist. So here are some examples. I just created this because I was bored. And so, um, yeah, let's get started. Okay, so for this tutorial, I'm going to be using white for the base and then glow in the dark as the twists. Okay, so first you're going to start from the middle pit middle peg and going out to the left start from the middle peg and going out to the right and then you're going to just go up from both sides it doesn't really matter what side you start on so I'm going to start from the right Okay, I'm going to show you this a couple more times, then you guys should be able to do it on your own. Because it's, like, not that hard. <laughs> okay, um, I'll pause the video here and I'll keep going. Okay, so this is where I finished off, so you're just going to go up. And then instead of going to the last peg, you're going to go to the center peg. Just like that. So this is what your loom should look like. And now we're going to start adding the twists. So you're going to take three rubber bands. And you're going to push these down. You're going to put them on the very right peg. And basically twist them like an infinity sign or an 8 onto the peg right across from it. Or you can just take three bands, twist them like on your fingers, and then place them on the next pegs up. Sorry. Okay. So you can just twist them like this and then place them on the next pegs up. So yeah, you're going to skip that middle peg and just keep going. So take three more. No, sorry, let me just fix this right here. Okay, that's better. Okay, so you're just going to go up, push them these down, and just twist them like an infinity sign. Okay. Or you could just go like one by one. So you could just put the first band on and twist it. And then do your second one. And your third one. I'll do this with you about one more time and then I'll let you do it on your own. So you could take three or you could put them on singularly. You could twist them upon itself. Just like that. And I'm going to keep going and I'm going to pause the video right here. And yeah, see you guys later. Okay, so for your last um, three rubber bands, you are going to put them on the last two pegs that you're using. So you're just going to... Like that, and this is what your loom should look like. Okay, and now at the top, we're just going to add a cap band. And now you're going to turn your loom around so the arrow is facing towards you. Okay. Okay, so for your first loop, you're just going to go inside the cap band and grab the first band, which should be going out to your right, and just loop it over onto the next pin. Go inside, get that last one, and loop it over to the left. Then you're going to go inside all of these bands, even the twist, and just loop it the band over. And onto the next peg. 
going to get the last band again, flipping it over and onto the next peg. I'll do this with you about two more times and then you guys can go do it on your own. Flipping it over. So going under all the twists and just getting that last band. Okay, bye guys. Okay, so I'm on to my last couple bands. Gotta go. Okay, so now you're just gonna get underneath all those bands, get the last one, and loop it to the center. Okay, so now you're going to stick your hook through all of these bands at the top of your loom and hook on a band and just pull through all of those bands and put that band back on your hook and basically just rip the whole thing off. Might want to be a little bit careful just in case your band snaps. This is really cool. So, this is what mine looks like so far. And now I'm going to show you guys how to make an extension. Okay, so now for the extension make sure your arrow is pointing away from you. So it's basically just like the chain, you're just going to get one single band and put it, it doesn't matter what peg, it could be any peg, I'm just using the one all the way to the left. And usually you're going to be using about like six to seven bands. So just a single chain. So I have four bands, five. I'm just going to be using six because my bracelet is really big. <clears throat> And now you're going to turn your loom around and you're going to put either your cap band or the open part. I like putting the open part on. Just hooking it around that peg. Now you're going to start looping. So you're just going to go inside of there just like a chain and start looping up. Just like that. And then that last band. Then you're going to stretch that to the middle peg. And you're just going to hook it. <laughs> going to get your clip. <laughs> And just hook it on just like that. And then just rip it off. And then just kind of hook that to the other side. Just like that. And it's done. So here is your completed taffy twist. Like this video and subscribe. Bye, guys.